Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Wasserman, and today we are looking at the concept of symmetry in our home links, Unit 2, Lesson 12. Let's take a look at the task uh, for number one. It says, draw the other half of each picture to make it symmetrical. Use a straight edge to form the line of symmetry. So right here we have uh, what looks to be an oval and some squiggly lines. So what in the world could this be? Well, the idea here is that when I am creating symmetry, I just need to create a line like so. Okay, And then whatever is on the opposite side of that line of symmetry, I'm going to try to draw the mirror image. So I'm going to be doing this freehand, so it won't look exact. So the first thing I might do is I might draw that oval. Okay, And then I'm going to extend that line out, and it's going to curve and come up around. And, you know, as the shape starts to form, I start to see an image of like a party mask or maybe a superhero mask. Now my drawing isn't perfect by any means, but you kind of get the idea here. And I can always make some corrections if I need to. That's the magic of these digital styluses. There we go. It's a little closer. Uh, so here I have a mask. And if you look at the uh, image in blue on the right, it's more or less uh, the symmetrical mirror image of what's on the left. So if you take a look at problem number two, we have a couple of images, a leaf and a spider. Okay, Now, the job here is to draw a line of symmetry for each figure to divide the shape into two equal mirror images of each other. Okay, so if we take a look at this leaf here, uh, you'll notice it's laying on its side, okay? So if we were to create a line of symmetry for this one, we would want to draw it across like so, keeping that line kind of in between the stem over here and the tip uh, over there. So that's how you would divide this shape into two lines of symmetry. Okay, now if I try to divide it in more than one way, you're going to notice that it's not going to look exactly symmetrical left and right. So you see on the uh, right hand side, I got all these points here, which I don't have over here. I've got the smooth edge and then I've got the stem. So that wouldn't work. Okay, so let's go ahead and erase all the blue parts, like so. So this blue line does not show symmetry. There we go. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So then finally, for number three, you're asked to come up with uh, four items in your home that are symmetric. Now that is a task that I can't help you with because I haven't been to your house before. But if I had to guess, you've probably got some common items that uh, you could look at. Uh, and uh, as it says here, pick one item and draw it below, okay? Which includes at least one line of symmetry. So let's imagine that you have a dresser in your house. A dresser is a cabinet, and again, not knowing exactly what it looks like. I can imagine it's got a top to it like so, and then some drawers, as you can see. And then down at the bottom it's got some legs that kind of hold it up, and then there's going to be maybe some knobs that allow you to open the dresser so you can access your clothes, like your t-shirts or your socks. Okay, so there's my drawing of a dresser. Now I just have to create a line of symmetry. Well, if I try to draw a line across the middle like so, you're going to notice that the bottom half doesn't quite look like the top half. As you can see, the legs of the dresser aren't here at the top. Okay, 
So that wouldn't quite work. So let's get rid of those. But I can divide this shape vertically with a line that goes up and down. Like so. Now again, my hand drawing isn't ex exactly 100% uh, symmetrical in its design, but most pieces of furniture, like this dresser, would be. So this is just a representation. This is showing your understanding of a concept. Okay, and that's pretty much what we're all about when it comes to symmetry. Just looking to see if you can create a, a mirror image of something uh, on one side of a line, either top or bottom or left to right, uh, that line being a line of symmetry. Okay, then finally we've got some practice problems down here at the bottom. We always want to take the time to uh, sharpen our skills, even though we're not currently talking about addition or subtraction. This is something that's always going to be in your everyday life. So let's look at problem number six. Okay, again, to save space, they've written this problem side to side, number sentence form. But in order to uh, uh, be able to catch when you have to regroup, your problem should be written vertically, meaning up and down. And as you can see, the tens and the ones place values are bigger on the bottom of this problem than they are on the top. So that means I've got to uh, do a little borrowing and regrouping. Okay, So 2 minus 8, can't do it, so I go to my tens, but I don't have enough tens. So I have to go all the way to my hundreds. I'm going to take one of those hundreds uh, from the six and make it five, five hundreds. And then I'm going to take those ten tens, which is the same as saying one hundred, add it to my five tens here, which will give me fifteen tens. Now what i got to do is i got to borrow one of those tens, making this fourteen tens, and then giving it to the two ones. So my ten ones plus my two ones gives me twelve ones. So now I can subtract. 12 minus 8 gives me 4. 14 tens minus 8 tens gives me 6 tens. 5 hundreds minus 3 hundreds gives me 2 hundreds. And then 7,000 minus 5,000 gives me 2,000 as well. Okay, now just in case you weren't sure if this answer was correct, you can always use that fact family triangle of information. Okay, uh, because if you've got two numbers that, uh, if added together, give you a sum, you can subtract one of those numbers from the larger to get a difference, and vice versa. Okay, just like 3 plus 4 gives me 7, and 7 take away 3 would give me 4. Okay, I can add these two numbers together to check to see if my answer is right. So 5,388 plus 2,264. I add the ones, 8 plus 4 is 12, carry the 10. 10 plus uh, 80 is 90, 90 plus 60 is 150. So 15 tens, I'm going to put my 100 up there. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 2 is 6. And then 5 plus 2, of course, is 7. So 7,652. It works. So you can be confident in your answer of 2,264 is the difference. Okay. If you have any questions about symmetry or geometry or subtraction, feel free to reach out to your math teacher. Otherwise, we will talk again soon, friends. Thanks.